Hi. In my 30 years of teaching, double entry accounting is one of the hardest subjects uh, for students to grasp. And, you know, I think it's because the basic concepts haven't been explained in a really simple way uh, for people to understand. So that's my objective in this lesson is to uh, explain it in a really simplified way. Now, understanding double entry accounting is important in business, uh, helps you understand financial statements and helps you understand the language of business. You know, but it's surprising how many people in business do not understand double entry accounting. So that doesn't have to be you. So let's say that you're on a remote island that doesn't have money and the currency is chickens. So that means that you buy stuff and you pay for it with chickens. And you want to start a chicken farm, but you only have one chicken. However, you do have a friend who has a chicken that uh, she will lend to you. She doesn't want to be a part owner, but she would prefer to just lend it to you. So now you've got two chickens, one from your friend and one from you. So you're the owner of the business, and we'll color that green. Uh, you get to keep all excess chickens uh, over those supplied by the lender. Now your friend is the lender, and we'll color that pink. Now the lender must be repaid the original loan of one chicken, plus the lender gets compensated for the use of the chicken, and that's called interest. The interest charge that your friend is going to uh, charge you is going to be one chicken per week. So this leads us to the basis to double entry accounting, which is the balance sheet equation. And the balance sheet equation is assets equal liabilities plus equity. Now, why are they equal? Well, they're equal because they're different views of the same thing. So that's like saying what someone is and where they came from. So for example, I am a male and I come from Illinois. It's two different views of the same thing, me. So assets are the things by type and liabilities and equity are the source of those assets. Assets supplied by lenders are called liabilities and assets supplied by owners is called equity. And they're equal because they're two different views of the same thing. In this case, the thing is chickens. Now we're going to use the balance sheet equation to construct a balance sheet. The left side are assets and they're listed vertically. Okay, the two assets we have are chickens and eggs. Now eggs are not quite chickens, but they will be converted into chickens in 21 days. On the right side, we have liabilities and equity, which are also listed vertically. And you'll notice that both sides are added up, added vertically for a total. Okay, and then the two totals must equal one another. So let's place numbers in our balance sheet for your company. We have two chickens. Uh, we don't have any eggs yet. Uh, they haven't started laying yet, so we only have assets of two chickens. And one of the chickens was supplied by your friend, the creditor, and one was supplied by you. Uh, on the left, we don't, we commingle the chickens. We're not going to tag them and say this one is supplied by you and this one's supplied by your friend. Uh, they're all going to be the same. We keep track of who supplied them over here under liabilities and equity. And both of the chickens are shown as assets of the, of the company, even though one was lent by your friend. So, so far we haven't uh, earned anything yet in the company. When we, we earn something and create value when the chickens start laying eggs. Uh, so when they do, we will need to prepare an income statement. So the revenue for our company uh, would be the eggs laid. And the expense would be the interest that were charged by our friend. We'll, we'll co color the interest pink. And the difference between the two, revenues minus expense, is profit, and that is the company's to keep, and we'll color that green. Okay, let's say week one has passed. It's been a good week. Uh, our chickens have laid five eggs, so that's revenue of five. 
Now we have to show the interest we're being charged for that week of one. That comes out of the five. It's an expense. And what we're left with is a profit of four. Okay, so the profit of four is what is the company's to keep. This is how the income statement feeds into the balance sheet. The balance sheet's a rolling total. It's cumulative. And the week's income statement is added to the balance sheet, and a rolling total is computed. So on the left side, we're showing the five eggs uh, being added to the balance sheet, and that'll increase the total by five. And then over on the right side, we're showing that of the five, one is going to go to the lender, and then four is the profit, which is the company's to keep, and those sum to five as well. So when we add them all up, we're left with two chickens, uh, five eggs for a total of seven. Of those seven, uh, the lender has a claim of two, and five are, is the company's to keep, again, for a total of seven. Now in week two, uh, let's say it's a bad week. Uh, we didn't have any legs that were laid, so we have revenue of zero. However, in week two, we are being charged an interest of one chicken, okay, so that still is going to be recorded. So as a result, what we have is a negative one profit, uh, which is called a loss. Revenues minus expenses, in this case, is a loss of one. So we're going to add that to our balance sheet. Notice how we can record this in the balance sheet, and, and it shows the flexibility of double entry accounting. Now, nothing has happened on the left side. However, on the right side, we're going to have one added to our liabilities because we are being charged one chicken for that week. And we had a loss of one, which is going to get subtracted out of equity. So we're just transferring a, a one from equity to liability, here, and our total seven remains the same. So here's our balance as of the end of week two. We got two chickens, we got five eggs. We, of the seven chickens, uh, our lender has a claim of three, and then four is the company's to keep. Okay, it's week three, and it's been a good week. Our chickens have laid five eggs. We're being charged one by our lender, so the company gets to keep the difference or profit of four. And then on our balance sheet, we're going to add the five eggs in, and we're going to add in the one uh, that our lenders charging us the interest and the profit of four is going to go into equity so both sides are going to increase by five and when we add it all up we have two chickens ten eggs total of twelve uh, of the twelve four is owed to the lender and eight is the companies to keep now in week three something else happens those eggs laid in week one have hatched and this also shows the flexibility of double entry accounting you'll notice that nothing has occurred on the right side of the balance sheet all we're going to do is we're going to transfer five and take it out of eggs and transfer it into chickens so there's just a recategorization of eggs into chickens uh, the claims of the company and the lender haven't changed so here is the balance at the end of the week. We now have seven chickens, uh, only have five eggs. The, the Of the 12, the lender has a claim of four, and you, the company, get to keep eight. All right, our last week, uh, it's a slower week. Our chickens have only laid two eggs. Okay, so our revenue is two. We're getting charged the one by our lender, so our profit for week four is one. So as a result, we're going to add the two eggs to our eggs on the asset side. And we'll add the, the interest charge to the liabilities and the profit of one to equity. So now we have seven chickens, uh, seven eggs for a total of 14. Liabilities uh, of the 14, uh, the lenders uh, have a claim of five. The company gets to keep nine, and the total is 14. Now, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to pay our lender the interest that she has earned over the month, over the four weeks. Interest of one per week, uh, four weeks is four. So we're going to actually give four chickens to our friend to pay off part of the liability. So the, we'll subtract four from chickens, and then we'll also subtract 
four from the liabilities, and you see that uh, the totals are going to equal. So now what we're left with is three chickens, seven eggs, and we just owe one chicken to our lender. That was the original one that they uh, that she lent to us, and the company gets to keep nine of the ten chickens. So let's uh, let's review the lessons that we've learned. Uh, double entry accounting is much more flexible than trying to keep track of things physically, like tagging them or uh, placing them in groups. Uh, assets are resources by type, and the two types that we had in our company were chickens and eggs. And the assets are supplied by either lenders or owners or the profits of the business. Liabilities are the lender's claim on the total assets or what the company owes to the lender. Equity is the owner's claim on the total assets or what the owner originally contributed, less cumulative losses and plus any cumulative profits. The totals for assets and liabilities plus equity must always equal. They are, after all, two views of the same thing. So I hope this helps you understand double entry accounting. It's the basics, and with understanding the basics, it should make learning accounting much more fun. Thanks for listening.